Now we will assemble both the electrode chambers and the focusing chamber onto the cooling finger and onto the chassis. The anode chamber will be placed first, followed by the membrane core, the focusing chamber, and finally the cathode chamber. All components again will be assembled around the cooling finger. To facilitate assembly, it is recommended that you apply a liberal amount of glycerol to the cooling finger. At the base of the cooling finger, there are two holes. Slide the assembled anode chamber over the cooling finger so that the two protruding screw heads fit into the holes in the base. They should snap in place. Next, slide the membrane core onto the cooling finger, pulling it down until it reaches the anode chamber. Then, pick up the focusing chamber and make sure that the harvesting ports have been sealed with the tape. Slide the focusing chamber over the membrane core, inserting the metal pin into the small hole of the anode chamber. At this point, it is important to check the alignment of the ports on the focusing chamber with the membrane core. Each membrane screen should lie just between two ports. If they don't, remove the focusing chamber and adjust the position of the membrane core as required. Once the focusing chamber is in place and correctly aligned with the membrane core, tighten the black retaining screws and check the alignment once again. Reinforce the taped ports with one of the two black acrylic cell cover blocks and tighten the screws. Do not replace the port cover over the loading ports as you will soon be loading sample. Lastly, slide the ch cathode chamber over the cooling finger, aligning the metal pin and the hole in the cathode assembly, and tighten the nylon retaining screws. The final assembly then should have the anode chamber on the left, the focusing chamber in the middle, and the cathode chamber on the right. The base of the cooling finger contains two notches that line up with a notch in the chassis. On the cathode chamber, there is a gear mechanism that should meet up with the gear on the chassis as well. To load the sample into the focusing chamber, first attach the power cord to the back of the chassis and make sure to connect it to an electrical outlet. Turn the switches to on and harvest. The focusing chamber will rotate and it will stop with the loading ports facing up and the harvesting ports facing down. 